Hey guys, it's the Plum Dot here and welcome back to my channel. And if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, welcome. I am so excited for you to be here and I hope you find something on my channel that you enjoy. Now today's video is a little bit different from my other ones. Yes, we are in Creative Sim, but today I am bringing you my very first collab and I am so stoked to be sharing it with you guys. I had so much fun doing this. So I'm collabing with Legit Lovely and we came up with the idea to create sim based off of a trait and a color so we chose bookworm and red now there is another little twist to this collab and that legit lovely sim is in the sims 4 and we are obviously here in the sims 3 i absolutely love the idea of doing a cross iteration collab because what that says to me is it doesn't matter which game you love which game you prefer we are all simmers and we are all part of the same community so i love that we added that little twist and created the same type of sim but used two different games from the franchise now I haven't seen legit lovely's video as of yet but I will be linking it down below in the description along with her channel guys go and show her some love check out her channel she is amazing the girl has got some mad creative sim skills and frankly I am a little bit jealous and not only does she have beautiful sims on her channel she also has helpful hints tips and tutorials on how to make your game run smoothly with loads of CC or how to take really beautiful in game pictures so like I said go and check her out show her some love now the other thing that I really loved about this collab is that we kept it quite open in that we didn't put very many requirements on it and that was so our creativity could flow through so yes you guys are looking at a female teenager and I feel like when people think of create a sim most of the time they think of a young adult female so I wanted to do something a little bit different so guys meet Matilda Bell which I thought was a perfect name for a bookworm and the backstory that I came up with for Matilda is that she comes from an affluent family and her parents are bookworms and they wanted to pass their bookishness down to their daughter so they started with her name and named her after two fantastic fictional characters and not only that they taught Matilda to read from a very very young age I feel like she learned to read around the age of two and so Matilda is very, very smart. And as she's gotten older, she has kept her bookishness about her. She loves complex books and the bigger the book, the better. But she's become a little bit rebellious and a little bit opinionated. Matilda marches to the beat of her own drum. She doesn't care what other people think of her. And she loves a good protest. Matilda loves to protest about things she's passionate about like vegetarianism and also animals. She just loves cuddly furry animals. So I also took inspiration from a couple other fictional characters and the first one is Daria. Now I feel like Matilda and Daria share the same sense of style. They love their boots with their dresses or their skirts and their trench coat. Check out the screenshots and then check out a picture of Daria and you'll know what I mean. And they also share this really quick wit and sarcastic sense of humor. And then the other person that I was inspired by was Kat Stratford from 10 Things I Hate About You. Now, like I said, these girls love complex books. In the film, the feminine mystique is mentioned, and then also there's a scene where Kat is seen reading The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Now, I tried to read The Bell Jar when I was about 14 or 15, but I just couldn't get through it because it is a hard read, but it is a very, very interesting story. So I may have to revisit it now that I'm an adult. And the other thing that Kat and Matilda have in common is that they are little terrors. They don't back down from anything. They stand up for what they believe in and they voice their opinions. They're not afraid to say what they think. And they also really don't care what other people think about them. And like I said, they're not conforming to social norms. They don't do everything that kids their age are doing just because everybody else is doing it. That's just not how they roll. So there's not much left in the video, so I think I'm going to love you and leave you with some music. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and check out Legit Lovely Sim and also her channel. And guys, let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like to see more cross-iteration collabs come to my channel. Because I had so much fun doing this for you guys. And if you aren't already subscribed and you like what you see, why don't you go ahead and hit that button. Don't be a plum stranger now, guys.